So iOS 15.3 Developer Beta 1 has been out for nearly three weeks now. And as per usual, I'd like to come back and share with you guys additional details in regards to the software. Now in this video, I also want to talk about when we can expect the next beta. As you know, it's been about three weeks since beta 1. So we'll talk about the next beta 2, expect the release dates. We'll talk about some of the bugs within the software. And of course, we'll also talk about some of the latest features that we're expecting Apple to continue to add to iOS 15 with iOS 15.3. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is some of the bugs that are being reported by many users within iOS 15.3. Now, one of the latest bugs is within the iMessage platform. Now, you know the red message receipts. Now, this particular option you can enable or disable so other users don't know or know when you read a message through the iMessage platform. So it looks like even if you turn this feature off, many users continue to report that the feature isn't working properly. Even if it's off, the other person can tell if you read the message or not. And that's one of the bugs that is currently plaguing iOS 15.3. Now, one thing that I've noticed is that some of the apps are having issues. So some of the apps will crash, they don't work properly, but that is to be expected. This is beta software, iOS 15.3 beta 1. So hopefully within the next couple of betas, developers continue to update their apps and this will no longer be an issue. Now, a lot of you guys continue to ask about the battery and performance. Now, I typically don't like to judge the battery on beta software because I think it's just not finished software, right? So the battery's gotten me through the entire day, no issues. I can't really complain about the battery. iPhone 13 Pro Max is my daily device and it looks to be performing relatively well. Now, in regards to performance, all the things that I've noticed is with app compatibility issues. Other than that, I can't really express any additional concerns within iOS 15.3, the software is doing pretty good actually. Now, the first beta was released on the third week of December. So we can expect another beta here shortly and we'll talk about expected release dates for beta two. But before we get to that, I do also wanna talk about additional features we can expect Apple to add to iOS 15 with 15.3. And I wanna start off with Private Relay. Now, Private Relay is a feature that's been in beta for quite some time, Apple had promised this feature to be launching with iOS 15, then 15.2, but the feature continues to be delayed. It is still currently in beta as of right now. Hopefully, iOS 15.3 will be the software to finally bring a fully featured private relay. We'll have to wait and see for this particular feature. Now, another feature that I'm looking forward to is the driver's license and IDs feature. Now, this feature was rumored to be rolling out with iOS 15.2. Apple has a few states that they're working with, local governments here in the United States, to bring this to iPhones across the United States first and then hopefully rolling this out worldwide. So hopefully by the time iOS 15.3 is officially done and ready to ship to the general public, the driver's license and IDs feature will be ready to go with 15.3. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is universal control. Now, universal control is easily one of the coolest features Apple showed off at WWDC last year, but this feature has yet to hit iPad or Mac OS as of yet. We'll have to wait and see as iOS 15.3 progresses to see if Apple will add this to Mac OS and iPad OS, and hopefully we'll see this feature rolled out with iPad OS 15.3. So fingers crossed, I'm really looking forward to universal control. Now, another thing I've mentioned before and I was hoping to see was the new emojis to the emoji keyboard. Apple has yet to add some of the new emojis to the emoji keyboard on the iPhone. Hopefully with 15.3, we see these new emojis start to roll out for the iPhone as well as the iPad operating system. Now, in terms of release date, as I mentioned, iOS 15.3 beta one has been out for a little over three weeks now. And that's typical because Apple typically doesn't release any betas the last two weeks of December, including the first week of January, the following years so that makes it three weeks now so the next beta for ios 15.3 beta 2 should be dropping next week on the day of the 10th or the 11th 
of January 2022. So just keep in mind that Apple usually takes about three weeks at the end of the year and one week or two weeks at the end of the year and one week at the beginning of the following. And then we can see another beta being pushed out. This year will be starting January 10th. Now my, my money is on January 10th. We'll have to wait and see for the next beta, but I'm really looking forward to iOS 15.3 and some additional new features and changes coming to the platform. Of course, stay tuned here to the channel for additional coverage. Thank you for watching today's video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.